I just realized what the G stands for in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Don't watch it. Mokuba, have you finished translating the Egyptian text on that god card yet? No, but I did download the new trailer for the Yu-Gi-Oh! 10th anniversary movie. Does it look any good? Well, we're not in it. Fuckers. I mean... Carry on. It appears to be about this guy Paradox going back to the past on his time-traveling motorcycle in order to play a children's card game with the three main Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonists. In 3D! Just like James Cameron's Avatar, only instead of intergalactic smurfs fighting giant robots, it's a children's card game. In 3D! Sounds awful. Did you want to go see it, bro? Mukaba, we're in the middle of a tournament. We'll just download it illegally like everybody else. Kawaii -ka! In 3D! Ishizu, why didn't you warn us that your brother was freaking Charles Manson? I didn't think it was important. But he's insane! We're literally sleeping on the same blimp as a deranged psychopath! He could kill any one of us at any time, and let me tell you something, if it isn't Tristan, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah! I suppose an explanation is in order. It all began many years ago in the dunes of far-off Egypt, where my family guarded the secrets of the pharaoh's tomb. A kid showed up just the other day! I don't know how, but it was kinda cool, and there was stuff to do, and so I got real busy. And then he grew up, and he was all pissed off. He was bitter for some reason, and as he grew, he said, I don't want to be like you, Dad, and I sure don't want to live underground. And the cats in the cradle and the millennium rod. My favorite Superman caught his kneel before Zod. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. You probably should have told me when you were coming home. I mean, it's not like I have my own wristwatch. Hey, Shizu, I want to go outside. Wah! Marek, you know it's forbidden for us to wander the surface. It's too dangerous. Haven't you seen the little mermaid? Only like a bajillion times. I want to go to the surface and befriend a seagull and fight a giant octopus and maybe fall in love with a handsome prince. All right, but I can only guarantee one of those things will happen. OMG, Shizu, this place is off the hook. Just look at all the poverty and disease. It's so cool. Oh, let's buy a rag. I've always wanted a rag. I just hope Odeon was able to fool our father into believing we haven't left the tomb. I fluffed a pillow. It's fucking foolproof. Whee! <laughs> Look, Ishizu! Somebody left a perfectly good comic book lying around. Hey, this isn't like my scriptures at all. I mean, what's that one guy doing to that other guy? I'm not sure what it is, but it gives me cravings. And oh, look, a shiny box! I must worship it! Sorry, baby, but I'm a rebel. A loner, if you will, and I can- Kill your family! Kill your family! Kill your family! Marek, are you alright? Must. Kill. Family. What's the matter, kid? You never seen the Kill Your Family show before? Marek, we have to go. But I like that show. What a sweet kid. Oh, Shizu, I'm having such a great time out here on the surface. It has pretty much everything. Oh, TV, quiet, motorcycles, rags. Friggin' rags, Shizu. But so long as I'm a tomb keeper, I'll never be able to enjoy any of those things. I then realized that defying thousands of years of family tradition and spitting in the face of our insane father was probably not the best idea I've ever had. Jesus, I have to go pee, Tinkle. Marek, our time is up. We must return home. Ah, oh, come on, just five more minutes. We didn't even ride Splash Mountain yet. No, Marek. Jeez, you're such a buzzkill, sis. But could I maybe keep the comic book? It is relevant to my interests. Marek, please don't flaunt your yaoi in public. Yag Zimash, Mane Mashadi, I am here to warn you gypsies that if you disobey your crazy papa and reject your duty as tomb keepers, something really bad will happen. But we already did that. What good is warning us going to do now? I am a ghost. Yes, but that still doesn't explain High that. five! I don't need to pay Tinkle anymore. We soon returned home, but something told me that Marek wasn't going to forget his experiences on the surface in a long time. I am not going to forget my experiences on the surface in a long time. Oh, quit your crying and get back inside this dungeon of misery and despair already. Okay, but there's something I must do before I leave. One day, I will ride a motorcycle, and it will be so friggin' sexy all around. 
around the world, fangirls will be left convulsing in throes of ecstasy as I ride suggestively toward the horizon. And then maybe I'll play a card game while riding my motorcycle. No, wait, that's just ridiculous. Manic, what are you doing? I'm riding an imaginary motorcycle. What the f*** does it look like? Remember, we must be very quiet so that we don't disturb our father. Hey, Ishizo, look at that thing over there. I wonder what it is. Loudly do I wonder about it. It's some kind of alarm. I must not have seen it in the dark, even though I've spent my entire life in the dark and would therefore have no trouble seeing in it. Come on, Marek, and be very quiet. Sounds like a plan, Ishizo. I only hope Odeon was able to convince our father that, wait a minute, a fluffed pillow. How is that supposed to trick anybody? A fluffed pillow. That's ingenious! Oh, hey, son! How's it going? I was just busy whipping the only true friend you've ever had! So, how was your day? <laughs> I cannot believe you would both disobey me! My! Hank Ishtar, the finest human being in the world! I'm going to fix this like I fix every other problem in my life by whipping everybody within a 500 yard radius! Us, starting with a yo, binky boy! <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting that. Marek? Not Marek. Melvin! Before Odeon became his friend, Marek was forced to create an imaginary one out of sheer loneliness. A friend that would give him all the hugs he ever needed. A friend known as Melvin. And now that Odeon is gone, I am free! Free to claim my prize! The Millennium Rod! Behold its true power! Oh, the yellow squiggly lines! The burn! And now, Dr. Scuzzbucket, you're going to experience firsthand what one of my famous hugs feels like! Open wide, Binky Boy! <laughs> And then he stabbed me in the torso and the cat's in the cat place and oh god that's sharp Please stop stabbing me I'm going to die When you're gonna stop son oh god that hurts I think you pissed my lungs there Yes that was definitely my lungs <laughs> The man did not know what he was f***ing with and now, Odeon, it's time for you to join the great card game tournament in the sky. Say hi to the gummy bears from me. Did somebody say gummy bears? No, he woke up. For some reason, this ruins everything. Are you all right, Master Merrick? I just killed my own father in cold blood. I might need a moment to get over it. Okay, I'm over it. I am here to warn you that your father is going to try to- It already happened! And so it was that Marek dedicated his life to destroying the Pharaoh and all of his friends. Wait, 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 wait. How the hell is any of this the Pharaoh's fault? If anything, he should be blaming you, Ishizu, aka the worst sibling ever. Yeah, I mean, you did kind of mess him up pretty bad. Yes, but it was his role as tomb keeper that had led Marek to such a life of misery. Okay, so let me get this straight. Because he was abused and tortured by his own family, Marek swore vengeance against a guy who had been dead for thousands of years. A guy he'd probably never even meet, due to the fact that he was, you know, kinda dead and stuff. Well, it made perfect sense in the Japanese version. How? How the hell does that even begin to make one iota of sense? Because shut up. Hey, Bakora! Guess who? Who bugger? Merry Christmas, Odeon. It's time to die. What? A fluffed pillow? Impossible! Who is responsible for this? That would be me. Well, look what the cat dragged in and pissed all over. I thought they wrote you out of the show, Florence. You think you can just barge in here and defeat me all by yourself? <laughs> Not quite. Hey, that's my bread and butter you're f***ing with. I always knew you wanted me to be inside you, Bacora. What do you suppose he means by that? I couldn't hazard a guess. Trust me, Florence. You really don't want to get involved. Oh, but I think I do. You see, I know who you really work for. Does the name Four Kids ring a bell? How could you possibly know? Let's just say I put two and two together. After all, you are the single most evil entity on the show. Which means you're the 
one trying to get us cancelled. <laughs> and you think you can stop me? Just you f***ing try. Three words, Melvin. Bring it on. Very well. If it's a duel you want, it's a duel you will get. Right you are. And the winner decides if the show gets cancelled or not. Then face me, Collins, and watch the fourth wall collapse around you. <laughs> Next time on the Kill Your Family Show, a very special episode, it's 3D!